वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू डिजिटल क्लासरूम आई कदम सर आई वुड लाइक टू टीच ऑन डिजिटल क्लासरूम इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी वेयर टेक अंडरस्टैंडिंग और लर्निंग टर्म्स इन दैट लर्निंग टर्म्स वी सी ऑल फैक्टर्स रिलेटेड टू द टोपोग्राफिकल मैप इन दैट कार्टोग्राफी कॉन्वेंशनल साइंस small scale map large scale map and contour lines today we are going to take the introduction and whatever colors are used in topographical map as well as scale there is a representative fraction and another linear scale then how to measure the distance all these points we are going to take in today's session today we in modern map a topographic map or a topographical sheet it will be type of map characterized by large scale detail and quantitative representation of leaves usually use contour lines topographic maps show both natural and man made features a topographical map is publish publish of a map series there are two combined sheets which covered whole map some are natural and some are man made features present with the help of color on topographical map views of color on topographical sheet many colors by use on topographical map to represent the certain physical economic or cultural features the detail are is under the blue color is used to show all physical features associated with water such as sea river pond wells etc then the black color is used for used to showing for all names of dry water bodies boundaries railways telephone lines telegraph line grid of the parallel and material survey trees and heights the green color is used to the forested areas trees scrubs and orchards etc the next cultivated area is highlighted in yellow color the area with white color shows to uncultivated land and uh, brown color is used to showing the contour their numbers form lines sand dunes etc and uh, red color is used to show the settlements roads and uh, arbitrary grid lines that is eastings and northings hmm. use of scale for me for measurements scale is defined as the ratio of the distance on map and the corresponding distance on the ground the distance on the ground is usually measured in a large unit such as kilometer or mile while the units to measuring the distance on the map are centimeter and inches the scale of a map shows how many smaller scale such as centimeter or inches on the maps represent how many kilometer or miles on the actual ground statement scale and area for example the scale of the map reads 1 cm is equal to 1 km it means the 1 cm distance measure on the map is equal to 1 km distance on actual ground thus the scale has a 
reduce the size of there and represented of a whole or a part of a piece of paper the representative fraction or rf scale is the ratio between the distance or the map taken and unity and corresponding distance on the ground this ratio is rf has no unit for example if the area of a map is 1 is to 50000 then by definition it means 1 cm is equal to 50000 cm if we convert 50000 cm into meter we get 1 cm is equal to 50000 pound 100 is equal to 500 meter so the statement scale of this area of word read 1 cm is equal to 500 meter or 0 0.5 kilometer <coughs> if we convert this statement into whole number we get 1 cm is equal to 5, 0.5 km 2 into 1 cm is equal to 2 into 0.5 km that means 2 cm is equal to 1 km thus the RF of 1 is to 550,000 means that 2 cm on the map shows 1 km on the ground. The linear scale. The linear scale is representative to the graphical drawing of the scale with the division and subdivisions and the respectful of also known as graphical scale. Each division measure the distance on the map and value return along the scale shows the distance on the ground. The big division on the scale is the primary division. The zero or the beginning of the scale is marked after the such primary divisions. The such primary divisions of the scale is further The first <coughs> primary division of the scale is further divided into small division. All the secondary divisions divided into small. The second one centimeter is equal to one kilometer. The unit of primary and secondary division may be the same or the different like kilometer and meter etc such a fact is dry sand embankment and valleys of dry river are shown by black dots in topographical sheet measuring distance on the map using scale Distance on map can be measured by two methods direct or crow fly method. It is measured as crow fly overlooking or widening the physical barrier. Distance is measured by stressing of the strip of paper or foot ruler or by the pair of dividers and two mediate points then the distance is measured from the then the distance is measured by the linear scale this is the distance in a straight line 
इनडायरेक्ट मेथड और रूट डिस्टेंस दिस डिस्टेंस इज मेजर्ड अलोंग द रोड रेलवे लाइन और रिवर एट्सेट्रा टू मेजर दिस डिस्टेंस अ पीस ऑफ पेपर और थ्रेड इज यूज अ थ्रेड और ट्वाइन ऑन द स्ट्रेट बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स टेकन फ्रॉम मेजरमेंट्स then the distance is measured on the linear scale by straightening the thread or strip along the scale to measure the direct distance from the point x from the x and uh, y measure the distance x and y in kilometer as shown in figure to measure the indirect distance between point a and b using a thread fact the conventional symbols are always given in topographical sheet for easy reference along with the a linear scale and area of conventional signs and symbols the size of map is much smaller than the actual size of land that it represent due to the this reduced size on a map it is not possible to show natural and man made features on maps in their actual shape and size therefore some symbols which are accepted to all over the world are used to represent features like river roads mountains cities etc on the map the symbols are known known are conventional symbols the symbols are useful as the facilitated representation of meaningful information on topographical sheet